Now I'm going to show you how to save a selection in Photoshop. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to the Help Video Guru channel on YouTube. Now I've already pre-selected this uh, tumbling jellyfish, a picture I took uh, uh, through the side of an aquarium. And uh, I'm going to go to the Select menu at the top of the screen and I'm going to say Save Selection. Now we can give it a name. So I'll call this jellyfish one. And we click OK. Now you'll notice here in the channels next to layers in the um, panels over here the saved selection comes up as the name that I put in jellyfish one and if I click on that you can see that the way it saves the selection is by creating white space where the selection is and black space where it isn't okay so if we go back to our layers we'll see our normal view there and essentially saving a selection helps you do many things first of all you can go on and do other work you know if we deselect this and uh, you know did any other kind of processing we could always go back click on select click on load selection choose it from a drop down list we've only got the one but if there were many we could choose from either each, either one that was there click OK and our selection is back that's the basics for saving a selection in Photoshop. You'll find it very useful when you're m working with uh, multiple options and uh, various selections, and particularly if you've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, uh, going around and selecting an object that's quite complex. You'll want to save it just to make sure that if anything happens at all, if you have to get up and move away from your computer, you know, somebody closes your file, what have you, you can always get that work back. Uh, without having to redo it all. Please see my other videos for more help and tutorials. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe for updates and new info.